is time for us to to start our service especially that nowadays we are talking about the worshiping of Satan in the, the churches and in the world Elohim knew that Satan was to come and seduce the world and for him to succeed into that business he was to use everything that belongs to God his titles his church his servants Satan programmed to imitate everything so that the world is fooled thinking that those happenings, those doings are from the Lord but they are not Satan does his things in the hiding God does the things in the, in the day and then you will see the Lord having is a field. The field of the Lord is the world. During the daytime, Matthew chapter 13 says, the master came and planted his seed. Everyone in the world saw him doing it. But at night, when people were sleeping and people were not monitoring, Satan during the dark hours came in the field of God the world and planted in this is a seed among the seed of the Lord no witness because Elohim is all knowing he is the only one who knew that in his field a foreign seed was planted. Not only the Lord knew, but the Lord has also put himself in his servants. The revelation that Elohim has, he has given it also to his servant in the morning. The servant of the master, Yeshua HaMashiach. They brought the matter to the attention of the master, say, didn't you plant the good seed in your field? The Lord said, yes. Then he asked, but how come we see these other ones? You see that? It takes only the servants of the Lord to be able to detect, to identify, to point out, to denounce, the hidden things that Satan is doing in this world, in his church, to counterfeit what the Lord is doing. Very important. But these other servants, they could not know. These other people, they could not know because for them, it was belonging to the Lord. So these people in the world, they attribute to the Lord even things in the churches which are not of the Lord. And it's our duty as the servant of the Lord to point out in the world and to identify in the church everything Elohim did not plant. So it is wrong to attribute to the Lord everything you find in the churches. Everything you find in the world, in the Christendom, as they say, in Christianity. Because in the same Christianity, in the world that was supposed to be of God, Satan has introduced, listen to me carefully, his church, his apostles, his pastors, his bishops. Satan has introduced even himself, he will be called Christ. But we know he is the Antichrist. But the world will not know he is the Antichrist. Only the few elected will know 
that this is the working of Satan. Amen. Before we go further, let's pray. I would like today, before we mention, as I promised the last time, the gods we have in the Bible, I would like to show you the high level of satanic doing in the religious world. We had read last time in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 12 and verse 13 the following. If you know up to up to uh, 14 it says yes a brother can read how you have fallen from heaven mm. morning star mm. son of the dawn lucifer fallen from heaven he was supposed to be in heaven there is a strength that elohim has built to support and sustain the heavens. But Satan, him, that force has opened way for him to fall down. Until Revelation says there was no more place found for him and his angels in heaven. He cannot stand there anymore because he's part of darkness. Continue. You have been cut down to the earth. You who once laid low the nations. Mm. You said in your heart. This is what we are studying. The intentions. The ideas. The creation of Satan. Which he started thinking within himself. And today he has implemented them. What are those? He was saying in, in your heart, heart, I will ascend to the heavens. We wonder what is filled up in Satan's heart. Satan's heart looks like what? What do you think if you have to figure out if Satan has got a heart? The Bible says he has a heart. He says in his heart, so now what kind of things are filled up into Satan's heart? It can only be evil. It can only be wickedness. It can only be seduction. Everything Elohim rejects goes to be dropped in Satan's heart. Everything Elohim has rejected, condemned, they are welcome in the dustbin, which is the heart of Satan, Lucifer. In that dustbin heart, satanic heart, look at what Lucifer thinks. Yes? I will ascend to the heavens. Yes? I will raise my throne above the stars of God. My throne, my pulpit will be there. Continue. Above I will the sit, messengers of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly. Yes, so the, when it will come to the assembly, the highest part of the assembly, the pulpit where the one who has got the message from God to preach will stand. Him will remove him. He will come and stand there. He will be the preacher in the assembly. That's what the intention is. I would like to read that part in your Bible. Is that the, the, the Bible I like? The Bible version I like? Yes. Kindly read that part only. You are saying in your heart. For you said to yourself, Yes, I will ascend to heaven, Yes, and rule the angels. <laughs> Listen, he wants to rule the messengers, he wants to fool the messengers. Yes, he will fool the messengers who are not of God. Continue, I will take the highest throne. <laughs> Uh -huh. I will preside on the mount of assembly far away in the north. Yes. I will climb to the highest heaven and be like. I will not be humble. Humility is not part of me, Satan is saying here. I will climb then. I will climb to the highest heavens 
and I will be like the most high. It means he's going to run a parallel world. I don't know if you're you getting this. What God is doing, Satan as well will try to do the same. So the world has got these two lines. The world of Satan, which imitates the world of God. That's how you will find. In Elohim's side, he has got prophets. On this side, he has also prophets. These prophets here, they talk to God. These prophets of Satan also reach God. That's why you will find in the Bible one of the prophets of Satan called Balaam. In Hebrew, Bilam. He was able to talk to God, even ask God for permission. This is the highest level of witchcraft. Where people can be able to ascend and interfere with God. Why? Because these fallen angels, they are still connected to the heavenly place because they are spiritual. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Now, it will be revealed again in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Look at this uh, satanic power. He says what? The revelation of Satan, Lucifer, is coming here in this what we call the new world order. A world without anything divine. A world filled up with what Satan loves. A world filled up with everything God hates. That is called the New World Order. That's why our prophet brother brought a sermon saying, this world is falling apart. And then, this world is falling again apart. He also brought with what we call the Eden of Satan. Also, he spoke about the great battle. Never fought or ever fought. All those things. Even he brought this other one. Wisdom versus uh, reasoning. Or um, uh, Yeah, something like that. You will find all these things I'm telling you inside there being taught. But now check this revelation. We are going to read from verse 1 and we go quickly yes brother concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and Jesus our is coming Yeshua is coming the Antichrist also is coming Yeshua said in, uh, in John chapter 14 I need to go because the prince of this world is coming Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. Satan is called the Prince of this world. Do you see how the, the names are similar? Yes. It will go. You will be surprised. I will take the Bible names of these satanic gods we have in the Bible. You will be surprised their meanings are godly. <laughs> yes. And our being gathered to him. Yes. We ask you, brothers and sisters, not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by the teaching mm. allegedly from us, mm. whether by a prophecy mm. or by a word of mouth or Wait, by letter. Can you see what he says there? Who can explain? Do you? Can you explain what you just read? You must not be worried about what? Some teachings. That which teachings? Uh -uh. Uh, just read again in yours there. From the teachers. Verse 2. 
Please don't be upset and excited, uh. dear brothers. By the rumor that the day of the Lord has already begun. Uh. If you hear of people having visions and special messages from God about this, <laughs> all letters that are supposed to have come from me. They even write letters as if they were taught by Paul. But they are not from Paul. Are you are you getting this? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. This is what we just said in the beginning here. They will make sure that it appears that God is the one who planted it. The man of God who planted it. But in reality, the enemy is doing it. Brother, read. Kindly give me that Bible of yours, please. Please, brother, someone bring me that Bible. I would like to use it in the, in the meantime here to read. This is beautiful. Thank you. Let's read it again. This Bible is called uh, the book. Yes, the book. Let's read again what the brother was reading here. Kindly, if anybody gets this Bible here, I would like to get a copy of it because it's very, very well expressed. It says this. I'm going to read from verse 1. And now, what about the coming again of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to meet him? Please, don't be upset and excited, dear brothers, by the rumor that this day of the Lord has already begun. Say amen. amen. So there are people who are already full. The Branhamites, they say Jesus has already come back. It's one of the rumors also. Other people saying we are already baptized with the Holy Spirit. It's another rumor. But you don't be excited. The scripture continues saying, By the rumor that this day of the Lord has already begun, if you hear of people having visions, is not what we see nowadays? Yes. Oh, visions. Yeah, that, like I told the, the people yesterday in Jivanji, a group of Seventh-day uh, uh, Adventists were saying that uh, uh, next year, on the 1st of January, 2022. <laughs> you remember? They said 1st January 2022 will be the end of the world. And Jesus will come on that date. That's the working of Satan. Amen. We can't speak otherwise. But let's see how Satan is being worshipped. He says, If you hear of people having visions, and special messages oh, from God about this or letters that are supposed to have come from me don't believe them Amen. that I repeat is the working of Satan to disrupt your faith Many will come in my name and they will seduce many. This is the tactics of Satan. He continues. Don't believe them. Don't be carried away and uh, deceived regardless of what they say. For that day will not come until... Two things happen. He says, first, there will be a time of great rebellion. In other words, we are going to say a worldwide rebellion. They are rebelling against who? God. Do you see now Satan running a parallel kingdom? 
everything that will be biblical, everything that will be holy, everything that will be regarded like of God, everyone in the world will rebel. So wait a minute. This great rebellion is called the great falling away. They call it the great apostasy. The great apostasy will prepare the coming of the Antichrist because the Antichrist, which is darkness, cannot come and rule when there are still lights there. But you must chase the light. So rebellion will be a rebellion against light to install the kingdom of darkness. Which kingdom? Remember the Bible says, the light shine in the darkness. And what happened? The darkness did not comprehend him. So that darkness in these last days will be general. Even the least that will be having them, the Bible says, the great persecution will come. To do what? To finish the light. Because everyone who believes properly is the light. And this kingdom of Satan, this one in which we are now, when it will commence, the first thing we get is a great major apostasy. That's why you say it's going to be a great rebellion against God. Amen. Who's doing that rebellion? Lucifer. In this, because he, he, he understands that this world belongs to him. That's one day belongs to God. So God must stay in heaven with his kingdom. The earth and everyone, including Adam and Eve, they are mine. Uh, that's a mistake. <laughs> that's a mistake. We continue. He says, And then, the man of rebellion. Wait a minute. Is that clear now, the man of rebellion? Yes. Who is the man who started the rebellion? Lucifer. Lucifer. This is another revelation of Lucifer in the New Testament. Given to our Apostle Paul. Sharia Shaul. He says, The man of rebellion will come. The son of hell. He will defy every god there is. I repeat. He will defy every god there is. And tear down every other object of adoration. And worship. He will go in and sit as God in the temple of God, claiming to be himself, claiming that he himself is God. This is the implementation of Isaiah chapter 14. Is that clear? Yes. This will happen. And when this is happening, the world is transferred completely to the control of Lucifer. And the, Isaiah, Isaiah says, he is the one who lay low. What? The nations. If you see, say amen. amen. So why is he going to go to the temple? Now, Isaiah said he will go to the far north and sit on the mountain of the congregation. Look here, he will go to the temple. What do we do in the temple? The Bible says, Yeshua said, My house is going to be called a house of prayers. When the people are praying there, they are praying to who? Elohim. Now Satan comes there. He becomes God. People will go there to pray who? Lucifer. They will go there to worship who? Lucifer. The religion in the world will only be teaching one God and that God is the man of rebellion. Lucifer. If you see, say amen. 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 We continue. 
He will go in and sit as God in the temple of God, claiming that he himself is God. Don't you remember that I told you this when I was with you? And you know what is keeping him from being here, to, from being here already. For he, he can come only when his time is ready. In this Bible verse it says, Until the one who is not allowing him to come is moved away. And that's what is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and the believers, when they will go to the rapture, the time of grace for the believers in the Gentile world is over. Then at that time, because no one will be able to believe anymore. No one will be able to preach anymore. Satan will forbid and cut all the preachings. Because grace is over. And bring in now the time of persecution. You don't accept our doctrine. You are murdered. Are you getting this? Yes. Then everyone will be forced to join them. That's when now you will receive the mark of the beast. Which is already potentially given to people now. Amen. Amen. What is uh, the worshipping of Satan? Is when they have succeeded to remove both God and the believers out of this world. Now the world that remains there is the world of Satan. Now, last Friday... We read in the book of Romans how they have changed the image, the glory of God into what? Who can remind me what we saw last Friday? They have exchanged what? Exchanged the image of the uncorruptible God into to to images uh, representing creatures. And when you exchange the worshiping of God, to the images representing the things created by God, you are in the full adoration, in the full worshipping of Satan. Let me show you now that exchange, how the Lord spoke about it. We are going to take uh, in the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and allow me to read it in this Bible version because I'm really touched by the way they are expressed here in this call the book. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Now before we do, let's first of all read Romans chapter 1 where it talks about they have exchanged. Anyone who gets it can read. We were reading it last Friday. Those who have marked can just read it again. As I'm going to read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4. In Romans chapter 1 verse 21. Yes. For although they knew God. Although they knew God. They neither glorified him as God. They did not want to glorify him as God. It means what? Everything that it deserves to be given to God, they will stop, they will remove. Continue. Nor give thanks to Him. Yes. But their thinking became futile. Ah. And their foolish hearts were darkened. Yes. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal they God. They exchanged, they exchanged the glory of Elohim. Who is Yahweh El Shaddai, the Redeemer, the Savior, the only God? They exchange that one too. They exchange the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal human beings and birds and animals uh, and reptiles. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Who has got the hand, good handwriting here? Oh, we don't even have. I want you to show what replaced God in the hearts of these people. What did they take to replace with God? Number one. 
in human beings. I'm going to write them here. Man, that's why today in the churches of Satan, the man has taken the place of God. The pastor comes, you see the, all those. Have you ever seen how the, they treat pastors in these satanic denominations? Have you ever seen? Yes. Like a small God. Number two? Birds. Birds. Look at some logos of some churches now. Yeah, you must see a bird there. Close and the bird. Yeah, a small branch of a few leaves there and the bird. Or a bird having something in the mouth flying. Huh? Yeah? Yes. Number three? Animals. Animals. You see some uh, uh, of these uh, pictures of so-called Jesus with the lamb he holds him around his neck. Am I right? Yes. Now, when you see it, what comes in your mind? Jesus is carrying a... But that guy, is he Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. So, when you have the image of a man or man with animals, Brother, this image. Don't we have this image nowadays? Yes. A man, a white man, <laughs> with a sheep around his neck. Is there any scripture that says that Jesus was having, uh, uh, carrying the, 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 the sheep around his neck? No. Or he, he carries it in his hand, uh, the way we see in these pictures here? They have exchanged. Um, until the whole world believe now that God is a white man. Robert, right? Yes. Which color? Okay, never mind. Continue. And reptiles. And uh, reptiles. Wait a minute. When we talk about the reptiles here, one of the major reptiles we know is who? The snake. The snake. The serpent. Right? Yes. Look today in the world. When the Bible says man, man does not simply mean the man. It means also woman. This one is generic. So man, it means men and women. And I'm going to show you the pictures of these satanic gods are either a man or a woman. Wrong or right? Yes. Come on. <laughs> That's what we call the worshipping of Satan. But through images. No wonder in the commandment, Elohim knowing it in the beginning, that he said, do not make any curved image. Why? Because he knew that Satan to be worshipped he will use those images. Say amen. Yeah. We praise the knowledge of Elohim. Amen. We praise the all knowing of God. Amen. And when you become his friend, it means you know exactly like him. Amen. Yeshua said, I will no longer call you my disciple. I will call you my friends. Why? Because everything I know you also, you know now. The measure of, of the uh, stage of a perfect man, one point is knowledge. Am I correct? Yes. It means the knowledge you have is exactly the knowledge Yeshua has. He does not know more than you. Amen. That's why he is the God of gods. Amen. <laughs> the Lord of Lords. He is Lord, we are Lords. Amen. What he knows, we know. They ask a question, you and Yeshua, you answer the same answer. Amen. Amen. It's, brother, it's like copy-paste. <laughs> it's now at that time you become like him. And that is the man who is uh, created in the image of God. He is like God. He talks like God. He behaves like God. This coming Sunday, I want to give the church few advices. 
I want to advise the church before we continue in the things. That will be an advice from my heart. Amen. 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 So, continue reading a little bit. Therefore, God gave... Wait a minute. Don't you see uh, very powerful women and some men? Today, they are playing with the snakes. Yes. Even in their movies or even their songs, you see them singing, sleeping, walking, playing with snakes yes. of different colors. Don't take those things lightly. No, they belong in this kingdom of Satan. It's only the introduction. So they are now making even this in, in some they say, no, oh, come, you can touch the snake, it's no problem. Then you come there, you are touching. No, no, they want to make the snake to be friendly to everyone. But the Bible says the snake is our enemy. Amen. I will put an enmity between you and the woman. Amen. And the woman represents also the church. The enmity between the first teacher. Because the first teacher represents the snake. Amen. Spiritually and physically, we are enemies. Amen. I meet a snake today, I will not spay, no matter what. I will kill. Because if I play, it will kill me. Amen. Can you call that thing friendly? No. A very small thing like... Uh, like uh, <laughs> okay. Now let's see that exchange. Oh, you said you want to continue a little bit. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desire of their hearts. Now God will give this world up. They will only be, be doing the, the things of their heart, not coming from God anymore. Continue. Desires of their heart to sexual impurity yes. for the degrading of their bodies. Wait a minute. They will institute. Marriage will lose its meaning. I'm informing you. Marriage, simply because it comes from God, it will lose its value. They will, they will install what? Homosexuality, lesbianism, gayism, pedophilia. It's already on. I just posted here something for those of you who are following it on Facebook. Yeah. The Pope was shamed. How many cases of uh, uh, pedophilia? Let, let me read for you. Let me read. I put, I put it here. It's here. Uh, let Satan be cursed. Let the Catholic Church also be cursed. Amen. 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 Check what the, 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 the report the, the report gave. The Pope was shamed after report finds at least the least. It means it's more. The least is how much? 330,000 what? Children who are abused, who are sexually abused. Sexually abused in the Christendom of the Roman Catholic. 330,000 children were sexually abused by priests and other lay members of the Catholic Church in France over the past 70 years. Let this church be cursed! Amen! In Yeshua's name. Amen. And he, he, he is pretending as if he did not know. And he knew! And he's one of them. But now he has to play innocent. So, the image of Satan to be worshipped on earth, he will use what? The image of men and women, men and women, birds, animals, reptiles. Okay, yes. let's have that one in mind. On top of this one, did we talk about the creatures? Mm, no. 
read where it talks about the creatures. They exchanged truth, the truth about God for a lie. Yes. And worshipped and served created things. Created things. Now, these ones are created, am I right? Yes. But the images are not created. Men make them, all right? Yes. So what are the things apart from this which we find in nature which people worship? The sun. 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 The moon. The moon. The stars. stars. Mountains. Mountains. Winds. Trees. Talk to me. Wind, water. Am I right? Yes. Eclipse. All those things which are now created by God. So we are going to have the creations plus the things that the human being will make. All right? Yes. Now let's see what happens. We are here so that we get to understand clearly what the Bible talks about the worshipping of Satan. In the church and in the world nowadays. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Brother, you will be surprised. I'm going to read from verse 1. I think that's what my note says. Eh? No, we are going to read from verse 14. Okay. Okay. Let's start from verse 12. And the Lord spoke to you from the fire. No, we... Let's start from... Uh... Brother, you come... Uh, you, you don't have the Bible, eh? You take this. You have a Bible? No, you'll be doing, reading this one here. The brother has got that one. I want... Uh, him, his voice is very soft. Though. But read, not just come here, bro. Yes. You go, no, go and sit down. We are going to read. We are not having anything. Uh. Now, I'm going to, uh, I feel comfortable with my, uh, my things here. See, when you replace, now you, you, you lose uh, uh, references. <laughs> now, we are in Deuteronomy chapter 4. We are going to start reading from verse uh, 15. Let's just start from 15. Read clearly because you are not only reading for us here, we are also reading for the recording. Read. But beware, you didn't see the form of God that day as he spoke to you from the fire at Mount Horeb. Wait a minute. When Elohim was speaking to the people of Israel in Mount Oreb, they did not see a form of God. Am I right? Yes. yes. What did they see? Or what could be seen there? The smoke. Right? Yes. They could hear the thunders. Am I right? Yes. And all those things. Now check. Elohim is saying here, when I was talking there, there was nothing representing me. Amen. Amen. Are you getting this? Yes. Why? Continue. So, ah. do not define yourselves. Ah. Continue. By trying to make a statue of God. Amen. 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 When Elohim speaks, to the people of Israel, like he was talking to them to Mount Oreb, there was nothing they could look at to say, this is God speaking to us. So it means between God and the people, there was nothing representing God. Amen. They could not do a transition, so we transit here to reach God. Oh, Mary, pray for us. So we come to Mary so that Mary will take us to God. No, no representation. Amen. No form of God. Why? Because Satan will be using forms to make people believe that for you to go to God, this will help you. For God to hear you, this beads, repetitive prayer, will help you. Uh-uh. 
Say amen. amen. Continue. Whether of a man. Ah, the list comes again. Amen. A man. Continue. Woman. Woman. Animal. Animal. Bird. Birds. Amen. A small animal that runs. Reptile. Well, don't, don't you see this one is a list? Yes. yes. Where is our writing, see, man? Someone can help. He's not behind here. It's down there. I know it's okay. Brother, come and see that we continue. It's okay. So have in your mind, having in your mind, uh, man or woman, animals or birds, or the reptiles. No form. Say amen. Yeah. Continue. Or a fish. Ah. Fish. When we will talk about fish in our teachings here, we are going to mention one God, the God of fish, which gave the fish mitre, the fish called Dagon. Did you print for me? And I had asked you to print. The fish Dagon, if he had printed, I would have shown you how that God is represented. And you will see, they say, in the, some cars, as I told you here, the, the, uh, you will see either behind in the boots there, you find that uh, fish uh, um, feature or uh, symbol. Am I right? Yes. Why? Don't you think that it's innocent? Now, look at now the lie of Satan. If you go to the internet... You ask, the fish symbol represents what? They will tell you this. Listen to me. This is when in the history, when they were attacking the Christians, they were saying, anyone who's identified as a Christian will be killed. So the Christians took upon themselves to be identified with the fish. So when you look at your friend who's a Christian, you see him carrying a, a fish symbol, you understand that both of you, you are Christians. Okay, let's say it's true. Okay? Thank you very much, my friend. Let's accept as if it's true, alright? Alright? Yes. Which place in the history God represented himself as a fish? What we see in the Bible, he represented himself as a tree of life. Yes. Right? Yes. Pillar of fire. Yes. Pillar of cloud. Yes. On earth, water of life. Yes. Bread of life. Yes. Am I right? Yes. The, he, he came down in the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove. Yes. So all these things you, you forget. You take a fish, which God did not... Uh, Represent himself into. They would not lie to us. You remember how I started? You remember how I started? Yes. The servant of the master will come. Yes, sure. Something has been introduced here. Amen. 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 Satan is doing it at night. If you don't have a servant of Elohim, you will be believing a lie, thinking really you are doing the right thing Amen. until you meet the servant of God. Amen. Is there any problem when you look at, you hear people singing for God? When people are singing for God. Uh, it's good, isn't it? Yes. I wanted to say something, but uh, not now. <laughs> okay. Continue. And do not look up into the sky. Now, well, after you finish the things which are on earth, man, woman, bird, animals, reptiles, and fish, the scripture says, don't also look up into heavens. Amen. To look for what? 
I, I will bless anyone who will get me the answer. To look for what? A representation. You read it in the Bible, it was what? A form. Men always look for a form that they can trust to represent for them God. Remember the people of Israel as they were coming out of Egypt to the promised land and Elohim took Moses in the mountain for 40 days. More than a month. The people of Israel said, no, 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 no. We don't know what Moses has become. Aaron come. What did they ask Aaron to do? Make them an image of God. A golden calf. Why? To represent to them God. They made a golden calf. And what did they say? They say, This is our God who took us from Egypt to the promised land. They have exchanged the glory of God. Amen. Amen. To worship Satan, you must exchange. Do you see now what we are talking about? Idolatry in the church? Is actually people removing God, replacing Him by something visible that they want to consider as God? Did you see that? Yes. Actually, it's Luciferianism. Um, yeah. That is what they call Lucifer Luciferianism or Satanism. Removing God, the absence of God, we install what we want. And we call that God. Actually, is the plan of Satan. I will sit and be like God. Brother, continue. To worship the sun. Uh, the sun. We add to the list. Sun. Yes? Moon. Moon. Or stars. Or stars. Continue. The Lord may permit other nations to get away with this. Wait a minute. The nations... The unbelieving nations, the Lord can permit. Then if they do it, it's okay because they belong to Satan. Even if they were created by God. That's why today, in the Catholic Church, when you are, you are, you are doing Christmas, it's a normal thing. People partying and going home for, for, for Christmas... It's normal. They gather there around the statue of Mary. It's okay. People burying the dead people in the home state. It is normal. People singing the songs of this world. It's not offensive. People making the gospel music and selling them. It's normal. Am I correct? Yes. To them who are getting lost, Elohim has allowed. Continue. But not you. Say amen. amen. Say one more time, amen. amen. To you. Why is it forbidden? Because you must not worship Lucifer. Amen. 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 They can. But not you. Continue. The Lord has rescued you from prison. Eh? Wait a minute. The Lord has rescued you from prison. So it means we were in a certain prison, right? Yes. Put a finger here, bro. Someone can take. You don't change. You remain there. Someone can quickly take uh, the book of Acts of Apostles. Chapter 9, I think. No. 
Chapter 26 instead. Remember, he was to take us from what? Prison. prison. Which prison? Paul will be explained by the Lord Yeshua what is that prison. Someone read verse 15, 16, maybe 17. Yes. I, Hello. Say, I say, who are you, Lord? Yes. The Lord says, I am Jesus. I am Yeshua. I am the one you are persecuting. The one you are attacking. Stand up. Yes. I have chosen you to be my servant. Yes. You will tell people about me. Correct. What you have seen today and what I will show you. In the future, yes. This is why I have come to you. I will keep you safe from your own people and from the non-Jewish people. Yes. The ones I am sending you to. Correct. You will make them able to understand the truth. Say amen. 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 Continue. They will turn away from darkness to the light. Amen. amen. Do you see the power that is in the world? Yes. The ministry of Paul was so powerful until today people reject Paul because it, it had the power to smash at out of the prison called darkness. Amen. Darkness has got power. In mine it says this, brother, in yours says what? Verse uh, 16. Verse 16. Now get up and stand on your no, feet. No, the second part. Huh? The second I, part of verse 16. I have appeared to you to yes. point to you yes. as a servant and witness of what you have seen and I will see of them. Okay, verse 18, sorry. To open their eyes. You must open their eyes. And to turn them from the power of darkness. Can you see that you not only say darkness? Power. power. But the Powers of darkness. Remember last time we talked about the powers in the air? You remember? Yes. And the principalities? You remember? Yes. They are there. The answer was sent to Daniel. What happened to the answer? Captured. For how long? 21 days. Huh? 21 days. Where was the answer? In the air. That's why, if you are not influenced 100% with this one here, brother, those powers can get you through this, through your egos, through your families. They are permanently there to get people to them. Amen. Amen. Why do we preach? What's the purpose of me preaching every time? Is to make sure I show you the bad things that you must not do. Amen. And show you the way where you must walk. But most of us, we don't listen. We want to do what we think is right. Amen. Amen. Continue. Who was reading? And from the power of Satan oh. to God. Amen. Can, can you see that? Yes. The power of darkness is compared to the powers of Satan. Now, let's go back there, there where you are reading. You see it's connected to idolatry. Continue. Yes, brother. Yes. To be a special people, uh, his own inheritance. Which verse are you now? 20. Yes. Yes. This is what you are today. Mm. But he was angry with me because of you. Yes. He vowed that I could not go over the Jordan River. Yes. Into the good land he has given you 
as your inheritance. Continue, my brother. I but must, I must. I must die here on this side of the river. So he knew already that here I'm not going on the other side. I'm dying here. Ah, men of God. He said, we have reached him. He had already informed me. So you will continue here alone and he gives them the guidance. I will not be there with you. I'm dying here. Imagine if you are the one speaking. You will be in full tears. Crying. <laughs> the way people fear death. <laughs> I remember when we were young, they were preaching the restoration of everything and the baptism of the Holy Spirit and us going to heaven. I never thought that I could marry. I could get, uh, I could marry. For me, it was like, we are going to heaven, my friend. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> For me, it was only heaven. Now, as the time passed by, we realized it was not time yet. Never mind. Let's continue our things. Beware. Beware, population, believers. Beware of what? Lest you break the contract the Lord your God has made with you. Yes. And uh, you will break it if you make any idols. Pala! Brother, the moment you replace the truth with a personal understanding, you have made an idol. The moment you explain Otherwise, the word of God, you have made an idol. Amen. The moment you substitute to the word of God a dogma, you have made an idol, which we call false doctrine. You are in the full strength and power of the worshipping of Satan. That is our war. That's why we are not a, a denomination. Amen. Why? We don't want to break. Because if you break, Elohim hates you. At the same time, Satan loves you. Continue. For the Lord your God ah. has utterly forbidden because it consists of a counterfeiting system. Someone wants to be like God. And for you to get that, you must do it through idolatry. Idolatry paves the way to worship Satan. Is that clear? Yes. So we have the sun, the moon, the star, the man, the woman, the birds, the animals, reptile, and fish. These are the representatives, the forms that Satan uses in the adoration or worshipping of Lucifer. That's one. Take it to the bank. Amen. Amen. We are going to see now the implications of them. If you take, we are going to study some cases, but uh, I wanted us to take as an example in Acts of, of Apostles chapter 7. Acts of Apostles chapter 7. People are running uh, without a message. How do you worship Satan? You worship Satan when you have a woman preaching. Every church where a woman is uh, in charge, you are worshipping Satan. Who can tell me why? Why? No. You have been the context of what we are saying here. 
Sorry? I can't hear you properly. What did you say? No. Ignoring what God has said. You substitute to it your own teaching. Automatically, you are in the worshiping of Satan. Now, in the book of Acts of Apostle, chapter 7, if we take from verse, uh, I think verse 37, it says what? Somebody. Yes, Brother Nixon. This is the Moshe, this is the Moshe who said to the children of Israel, Yes. Elohim will raise up for you a prophet yes. like me mm -hmm. from your countrymen. Yes. This is the one who was in the congregation in the wilderness together with the angel uh. who spoke to him on the Mount Sinai. Yes. And who was with our fathers. Yes. And he received living oracles to be handed down to you. Correct. Our fathers were unwilling to be subject. Now listen to carefully. Our father were unwilling. 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 Wait a minute. Can you go further with a woman who's unwilling? You want to marry her? She's unwilling. Will you go further? No. If you go further, Matatizo is, is waiting for you. She will tell you, I, I never loved you. Even she said, Did I say yes to you? Or oh, it's my father who arranged everything. When you are unwilling, we cannot move. Say amen. amen. And that means uh, unbelief. Wrong or right? Now, continue. Our fathers were unwilling to be subject to him. Yes. They rejected him. Wait a minute. Look, at, look brothers, brothers and sisters. I want to show you how you reject Elohim to embrace Satan. Because the two powers are together, running a parallel world. Satan's world parallel. God has got churches, Satan has also churches. Am I correct? Yes. Jesus has got apostles, Satan has got apostles. Amen. Elohim appoints their, himself his apostles Satan appoints them to the other men You see I'm apostle I was ordained by Bishop so and so Those are the people in the kingdom of Satan Amen. Because in the kingdom of God says You did not choose me I chose you And I ordained you But in the kingdom of Satan Men and women are ordained by the church Amen. That's what we will condemn until we are taken to rapture. Amen. 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 Those are the things that show that, yes, you will call him apostle. You will also call Paul an apostle. But what will be the difference? Where do you come from? Paul will say, by the will of God. Amen. You, you will say what? By the will of a redeemed. Is not so. Yes. One of them is mine. <laughs> he was an apostle with a diploma. <laughs> According to the will of men. And it's not the will of men, it's the will of Lucifer. Amen. Amen. But look at the way they painted. <laughs> Even a diploma you are given, <laughs> a certificate or a license, I don't know. They were unwilling and they rejected God. Look here, brother, listen to me. What happens when you reject the light? Immediately. Darkness and light are just a fine separation. Very fine. You can't even see it. This is the separation. Switch off. That second, the light is going. That very second, darkness replaces. Am I right? Yes. 
Am I right? Yes. But when there is light, you can't see darkness. Eh? Yes. Make a mistake to press the, the things. He appears. Automatically. So now, here the people of Israel are with God. Right? Yes. Moving in the wilderness. It just happened that Moses delayed a little bit in the mountain. They said, we don't know what Moses has gone there for. All this time we, uh, my brother read, who was reading? Check here. They rejected God. And in their hearts, turned back to Egypt. Uh, Stop. Did you hear what the Bible says? Yes. Where were they? Where were they? Why are you murmuring? By the way, there's too much load of people here. Empty seats are here. Let's come closer. Those who are behind there, come. It's still here. Yes, come. You are very far. We are going to shout. Come closer. Why are you running away from me? Yeah, you, you are a tall boy. Come, come here. Behind me. You, you can sit here. Brother, come here. Elohim is a Elohim of God. When they are speaking this way, where were they? Yes? They were in the wilderness. In the wilderness, they were following who? They were following Elohim. Through Moses. The true prophet. Am I right? But the scripture reveals here in their heart, they had already returned, returned to Egypt. That's why you can be sitting here with us. If in your heart you are still a Pentecostal, you will not be saved. Amen. You can be in the early church if your mind, your way of doing things and your understanding is still denominational. You are not going anywhere. Yeah. You must be here plus your heart Plus your faith with motion. Amen. Otherwise, you are not going away. Amen. But look at these people. Physically present in the wilderness. Serving Elohim to the promised land. But their heart had returned to Egypt. What happened? Who was reading? They say to Aaron. Ah, now, look at the manifestation of Egypt in them. Egypt was having who as God? Satan. Satan was the one serving him in slavery day. He said, They say to Aaron, Make for us gods who will, who will go before us. Idols. Say amen. 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 Wait a minute. Do you see uh, making idols means what, brother Samuel? Making idols means what? Exactly. Rejecting God. That's why, brother, take it deep down in your heart. The reason why we fight the false doctrine here, a false doctrine sends you to Egypt. And that's why you will see when I'm correcting a mistake or a false doctrine, I do it with all my heart, even in the strength I can go, I can I can't because if I don't, you will be present here early church, but your faith will be Egyptian. Amen. Do you understand now why it is so important to understand properly? Yes. Continue. For, for this Moses who led us out of the land of Egypt. <laughs> now I said this Moses. We do not know. This is disrespectful. Yes? We do not know what has happened to him. Uh. In those days, they made a calf and brought a sacrifice to the idol. And Look here. Rejoiced. Can you see that even in the worshipping of Satan, people have got tithe and offerings and even... Uh, uh, Everything that we do for God. Yes. It keeps the same structure. You do the very same things. But the only difference is you have exchanged Elohim 
with what? Idols. That's the only difference. And when you do that, you have rejected God. Continue reading, bro. And rejoice. They rejoiced. And celebrated over the works of their hands. <laughs> Continue. But Elohim turned away. Elohim turned away. And handed them and over. And handed them over. To serve the host of heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, some of the host of heavens are what? Those principalities. And the chief is Satan. Do you see now the worshipping of Satan? Now, which, what was the representation of God they put there? In our list is what? Uh -uh. Animal. Do you see here that when you're having, that's why you find some people, I don't know, animals, animals, animals. So to them, they could not live anymore without the golden calf. They carried now, he said, this is our God. We love him. He took us out of Egypt. Elohim said, because you have done this one, the host, worship them. What happened? As it is written, yes, and forever remains written in the book of the prophets, yes. it was not to me that you offered victims and sacrifices. Wait a minute. It was not to me. They were to offer to someone, Brother Thomas. And that someone who was to receive the offering says, It was not to me. When you send M Pesa money in M Pesa to a wrong number, you say, I'm sending Brother Samuel, then it goes somewhere else. Someone will say, What? I did not receive. Is it not so? Yes. And here they are sending money. They are sending offering. Elohim says, I did not receive the offerings. <laughs> Who did receive the offerings? <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Be careful, my brother. It's, a, Brother Branham says, a thin line that separates a true doctrine from a false doctrine. Satan from God, a very thin line. You will think you are in the right place while you are already with Satan. Why? Because the tree of good and evil is almost at the same place with the tree of life. What happened to the branches? In the tree, they mingle and you will find the tree. Every branch that comes here and you find a tree here, you say, ah, I'm going to climb here and eat from this tree. But it's a branch coming from the tree of uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's why Yeshua said, when Satan will come, they, and these people, they will do so many things to seduce. If it were possible, if it were possible, we thank Elohim, it's not possible. Amen. If it were possible, even the elect. What a minute. For you to be able to seduce and elect, you must bring something that looks right. Am I right? Yes. Which looks real. It looks Bible. You come with the Bible. Let me show you the apostles of Satan. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2. Verse 2. Someone can read. Anyone? I know. Yes? I know you are deep uh -huh. and you are toy. Yes? And you are patience, patient and you are rest, and that you cannot tolerate those who are evil. Mm hmm and have tested you have tested and critically appraised yes those who call themselves those who call themselves uh, apostles apostles uh, personally yes chosen representatives of Christ yes 
and are not. But they are not. Those who are supposed to represent Christ, but they are not. So if they are not representing Christ, they are representing who? The contrary of Christ is called the anti and the Antichrist is who? Satan. Manifested in the flesh as an apostle. Continue. And are known, and have found them, they, them to be liars. Wait a minute. They are what? Liars. liars. And who's the father of liars? Satan. Can you see that Satan has got apostles? Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's go back to uh, Act. Finish there, bro. Mm. Yes, brother, we are there. Oh, you changed. If you are reading, don't change because when we have to come back now, you see you are lost. You have to do now some touching to your phone. Yes, continue reading. We were in the book of Acts of Apostles. Yes? People of Israel. You Which know, verse? That's uh, verse 42. Yes? But God turned, turned against them and let them continue worshipping them, uh, the army of false gods in the sky. Ah! Clap, clap, Kamisa, let's clap for Elohim. Ah! Ah, that's the reason why Elohim did not want him to read. Because okay. But God turned against them and he they let them against continue them worshiping, worshiping the army the armies. of false gods in the sky. Amen. This is what we call idolatry. Amen. The worshiping of Lucifer. Who wanted to be like God? Continue, bro. Oh, that's beautiful. This is what God says in the book that contains what the prophets wrote. Yes. People of Israel. Yes. You did not bring me blood <laughs> offerings and the sacrifices. Yes. In the desert for 40 years. Yes. You carried with you the tent for worshipping Moloch. Oh. We are going to find out Moloch is who. Because they, were, they did not worship Elohim. They worshipped Moloch or Molech. Right? Yes. Okay. So did you see here, first of all, that they have exchanged uh, the worshipping of God to idols? Yes. And these idols, they represent what? Men, women, animals, birds, fish, huh? Reptiles. We go again in heaven. This is on earth. In heaven. Sun, moon, stars. Am I correct? Yes. Ah. Now, let's go to write. Who knows how to write properly on the black on the board? I want to give you now the summary because we are finishing these things today. The first one I'm going to mention in the in the Bible, which we know all of us here. The people of Israel coming out of Egypt. They were facing a guy in the wilderness. He was uh, uh, in the wilderness. And also a queen brought that God in the land of uh, Egypt. That God is called Baal. Number one, Baal. What is Baal? Baal is a word which means you'll be surprised. Baal, an idol and a demon. The definition of Baal means the Lord, the Master. <laughs> la, la, la. Where do we find him? Let's go to the book of Numbers. Uh, 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 now Baal will be added with some few things. So Baal worship not only involved the ritual of uh, prostitution. Look here. The Baal worship as you are turning there. 
the bile, the bal, bal uh, ritual or worship does not only involve the ritual of prostitution and the uh, degrading of sexual practices common to many fertility cults, but also included in the child sacrifices. These things, you will find them in the Bible here. Let's take the first one. We are going to take the book of Numbers chapter 25. Numbers chapter 25. Are we there? Brother Thomas, are we there? Okay. We are going to start reading from verse 1, verse 3. Now Israel remain in Acacia Grove. And the people began to commit harlotry. Huh? Do you think the people of Israel with God will really behave this way? No, they have already given Satan an opportunity. They have left the field. That's what I'm going to preach on Sunday. When people leave the field of God, you go to the field of Satan. What are you expecting? Oh, brother, I wish I could listen to the advice of the pastor. Now, you see now what is happening to me now. I don't understand. Well, but why did you go to the field of Satan first? Why? Why? No, things are not moving on well, very well. This is what happened. I was. I have a confession that we were hearing there. I will share with you. It was from Congo. Just the other, last Saturday. Last Saturday. No, no. It was on Wednesday. Wednesday. A brother has reached a place where, brother, listen to me carefully. He says, I don't live in peace anymore. I fear that anything can happen at any time I die. And you see that fear, not for one week, for years. And sometimes he, feel, he fears going out. So he feels that something is surrounding him that can cause his death at any time. He came to repent. And when he was repenting, brother, you cannot believe what he said. When we leave the field of God to do our own will, when we want to be directed by our own understanding, that's what happens. Why do you think Elohim has put pastors around you? Why do you think we are here for? Only to come on Sunday, you hear us teaching that actually according to the Bible, a real believer should involve his spiritual father in almost everything you want to do so that you are sure you are doing the right thing uh -huh. especially the things you are doubting that's where you need consult Moshe it's written uh -huh. in that way you cannot go wrong then we become police officers we are only called when things are bad why should we be like that we cannot be called when things are okay brother Thomas <laughs> They started committing harlotry with the women of Moab. Who is Moab? Brother Thomas. Who is Moab? The generation of Noah. Brother Mike is laughing. Who is Moab? The son of Lot with one of his daughters. What, what is the name of the other son with the other from the other daughter? Ammon. Ammon. That's why you have the Moabite and the Ammonite, sons of Lot, brother to Abraham. Don't you see it's the same family? Yes. But they were rejected. Why were they rejected? They are coming to this world was sinful. 
the way the coming of the Catholicism in this world is uh, sinful. Amen. Now check. Did I say the worshipping of Baal in, in, involve also immorality? Yes. That's why in the church, if you don't watch properly, this God Baal will introduce in the church sexual immorality. Are you hearing this? Yes. You were at that time worshipping Satan immediately. And that's why the brother and the sister of that kind, the Bible says, Open the door, kick them out. Because they are in the domain of Satan. The worshipping of Baal always introduces in the church sexual immorality. Check. The people started fornicating, no, sorry, the allotry with the women of Moab. Verse 2. Someone read. Brother Yos, yes. The Moabite women yeah. invited the men to come and join their sacrifices to their false gods. Brother, you see why women were used? Yes. You see a very nice, beautiful woman inviting you. Ah, come and visit me in the church, man. Come. Yeah, we are going to have something. I will offer you something. You look at the beauty of the Moabite. You forget the way is lost. The sons of Israel, ah, they were behind the women. They started following the women. Which women say, ah, by the way, oh, we are the same family. Yeah? You are a Christian, I'm also a Christian. So it's only that you, you are Catholic, me, I'm a, but it's the same. This is what you call Balabism. Continue. So the Israelites joined in worshipping these false gods. Can you see worshipping false god is together with the halotry? Yes. yes. Brothers and sisters, anything that has to do with sexual immorality, purify yourself. Amen. I am telling you from these gadgets to your personal life, they get purified. Amen. Amen. I, I used to know that uh, men and animals, they are immoral in some places. Men who take animals. Yesterday, yesterday I was sent a video where I saw and I could not stand ladies and dogs. Reality. I was very shocked. But she said she has married the, the dog. Now I understand why women in Europe, they walk around with big dogs. I understand now, since yesterday, I understand. She says, I don't need a man. The dog has replaced they have exchanged the men to one of these uh, things, animals, you see. Baal. The influence of Baal brings in people's life uh, sexual immorality. Don't forget that. The people started to worship uh, idolatry and they, 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 the women called them and they went to worship their God. Continue. They ate the sacrifices and they worshipped these gods. Yes. There, there they Here it says, the women invited the people uh, to the sacrifices of their gods. And the people ate and bowed down to their gods. Verse 3. This, the, the Israelites began worshipping the, the false god, Baal of the earth. Ah. There you are. Is that clear? Yes. Is that clear? Yes. That's what you see here. <laughs> they are together. The moment you start worshipping Baal, sexual immorality. 
masturbation, homosexuality, everything that is immorality will be coming in your life because of the quality of God. And that God, which is Satan, hates to do the right thing that God preaches. He loves doing the right things that he, Satan, has established, which is sinful. Continue. And the Lord became very angry with them. Uh, 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 uh. Baal. The Lord. Baal means what? Master. Lord. Right? So, in uh, we, we call him Baal of of uh, Joshua chapter 13. You have seen Baal. Joshua chapter 13. Someone can read very fast verse 17. It says what? In the meantime, you must know this, brother Thomas, that Baal incarnates the supreme fertility. When people talk about Baal, they are looking at uh, the fertility, both in the land and in women. Fertility. Also, it's the God of the earth that ensures the good crop. That's fertility. Mm -hmm. And is used in agricultural uh, society. That's your bar. Now, Jeremiah, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I gave, uh, it was Joshua chapter 13, verse 17. It says what? To Heshbon. Yes. And all its town on the plateau. Yes. Including Demon. Yes. Dibon, Bathmoth Baal. Beth Baal Mion. Jahaz Kedemoth. Baal. 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 Oh. Meon. Baal, Baal Meon. So we have Baal of Peor, uh, Peor. We have Baal of Meon. Then we have another Baal of Hazar. Second Samuel chapter 13. Verse 23. What do I mean? What's the real name of Baal? My brother, I forgot your name. What's the real name of Baal? You, you see Baal. But who is really, really Baal? Baal, ni nani? That? No, the name. Is hiding behind Baal. They call him here Baal of Bear. The God of the Catholic, the God of the Protestant here. Here he becomes Baal of Meon. Here he will be a Baal of Hat. <laughs> Second Samuel chapter 13, verse 23. Someone can read. <laughs> Two years later, mm. Absalom had some men come to Baal Hazor. To oh, Baal Hazor. The same name comes here. Of Hazor. Is that correct? Yes. Continue. The Baal Hazor to cut the wool from his sheep. He invited all the king's sons to come and watch. Absalom went to the king and said, I have some men coming to cut the wool from my sheep. Wait a minute, it's okay. Did I say that when you are doing this one, you have to do some uh, children's sacrifices? Yes. Jeremiah, we go very fast. I'm giving this one very fast so that we go. Chapter 19, verse 5. Today, Brother Tom is very tired. Yeah? His friend yesterday confessed. That we are preaching the truth. I think the brother will give us the testimony on Sunday. Or he himself. If he comes on, come on Sunday. You, you are there. So you know him better. You will give us the testimony. Which will be confirmed by brother Alex. To, on Sunday. Yes, Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 5 says what? The kings of Judah. Yes. The high places for the God Baal. The God Baal. And then... They use those places to burn their sons in the fire. 
today, don't you, you, you've never heard people are sacrificing their children? I'm asking you. Why, why do they sacrifice their children? I want to have the fertility of Pesach. The fertility of famous. The fertility of uh, my happenings. Connected. You will see someone very rich. He does not want to get married. And even if he's married, he does not have children. Do you think he does not have children? No, he has them, but he sacrificed them. To maintain his wealth, to maintain his power, to maintain his popularity, to maintain his whatever it is. Now, let's summarize. Baal, when you hear Baal, what comes in your mind now? Brother Pedro? No, but that is in the spirit. We are now in the normal thing. When now, after hearing this, when you hear Baal, what do you think about? Sexual, Sexual immorality. Number two. Idolatry. It's already idolatry. Witchcraft. No. And we just saw now. Yes? Sacrificing children. This is what you must hear here now in your mind when you hear Baal. Ah, oh, Baal is that one. It means uh, this. It means what again? The master. Master or the Lord. The Lord. It means what again? You have Baal Peo, Baal Meon. The last one, did I give you the one in uh, Second Samuel 13? Yes. Baal Azo. Those are the things. In the New Testament, he comes. They call him Baal Zabab. You hear me? Yes. It was one of the names they were calling who? Yeshua. Yeshua. Are we together? Yes. That is how Satan mingling among us. Look here. When Adam listened to the voice of his wife, Satan there, what did he do with Eve? Sexual The people of Israel, when Baal came, what did they do with the women of, of um, Moab? Sexual immorality. Can you see it's the same characters? Yes. Who is this guy? Satan. The ancient serpent. Yeah, yeah. Amen. If you see, say amen. amen. Second God in the Bible. I actually put them together for you so that we can, we can study together and finish. The second one is Astoreth. Ishtar or Ashtarte. Ashtoreth with the TH at the end. This one is the goddess of fertility. Baal was what? The god of fertility. Ash Ishtar. No, no. Ishtar or Ashtarte or Ashtoreth is the goddess of fertility. Which makes her what? The wife of Baal. Gods who are getting married. <laughs> we, we are gods who get married because we are flesh. But these ones are spiritual. You can't do that. But these ones, ah, it's the love day. I told you here, there was a, a sister in the message, a Branamite. I went to buy fruits from a, a place there. She said, uh, Brother David, can I ask you something? I said, yes. She asked me, Barzabab is here. You hear? So now, they, she asked me, Brother, if we go to heaven there, I said, yes. Are we going to have children in heaven? I said, sister. Why are you thinking this way? She started laughing. So even in heaven, sis, me, me, me. 
buy. You think you can even go there? You behave like if you are on earth. No, they don't want to give up those things. We find this one is a God in God in Canaan. Who's Canaan or Canaan? Canaan is who? The son of Ham. The son of Ham. You have got forty uh, percent. Brother Tom. Yes, brother Nick. It's, it's son of Ham who was cursed. Now you have 100%. <laughs> they cursed the son of Ham. When you receive Elohim curse, what happened? You create gods. Now, the first one is here. Let's go and read Judges chapter 2, verse 10 to 13. Judges chapter 2. Ten to fifteen to thirteen says what? After that, yes, whole generation had been gathered to their ancestors. Yes, another generation drew. Yes, who knew neither the Lord or they or did what? not know the Lord God uh, of Israel. Or what he had done for Israel. Yes. Then the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served Baals. They forsook the Lord, the God of their ancestors who had brought them out of Egypt. And they followed and worshipped various gods of the people around, around of them. Of the people around there. Continue. They aroused gods, the Lord's anger, because they forsook him and served Baal and Ashtoreth. Ah, there you are. Baal, the husband, the man, and the wife. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look here. Look here. Look here. Husband and wife. It does not click something in your mind. <laughs> Talk to me. It does not ring a bell. Ring a bell. But if it's a thing, why are you looking at me? <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Which family became powerful on earth first? You must know, brother. Which is Cush and the wife Artemis. They are here. Who gave now their son, which was Nimrod? So you must have, first of all, the father and the mother. This is Babylonian. Amen. Confusion is here. That's what I was saying. It does not ring a bell. We have, who was the first man? Cush. And his wife was who? Artemis or Semiramis. Or this one here, Astoret. Ishtar. Together, they got a child called Nimrod. Who was Nimrod? The son of God. Nimrod, God the son. Cush, God the father. And Artemis or Semiramis, God the who is the mother? Represented today by what we call the Holy Spirit. You get your trinity. Satanism. Brother, continue reading. <laughs> In his anger the, against the Lord, yes. the Lord gave Israelites into the hands of the raiders who uh, plundered them. Uh, chapter 10, verse 6, someone else. Chapter 10, verse 6. Again, mm. the Israelites did what, what, what the Lord said was wrong. Mm. They began worshipping the false God Baal mm. and the Ashtoreth. Exactly, again. That is the God number two in the Bible, representing Lucifer. Number three. 
Asherah. 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 Asherah is the wife of Elohim, the chief god of the Canaanite. We are going to reach Judges chapter 6. Verse 25. It says what? The wife of... <laughs> The, it means the wife of God, the wife of Elohim. Until one will be called the queen of heaven. Huh? You know, you see where we are going? The queen of heaven. And the church, one church here will say, no, there's a woman who did not die, who got God who elevated and took to heaven. And uh, up to today, she's still called a virgin. <laughs> How can a woman who was delivered be called a virgin? <laughs> Eh? Someone can read Judges 6.25 That same night The Lord said to him "Yes, Take the second bull from your father's heart yes. The seven year old Tear down your father's altar To Baal, Baal eh? And cut down the Asherah poles Beside it The Asherah Beside it Continue Then build a proper kind of altar to the Lord your God. Second Kings chapter 23 verse 4. We are finishing here. We will start from the fourth one. Second Kings 23 4. Then the king commanded Hilkiah the high priest, the other priests and the gatekeepers to bring out the Lord's temple all the dishes and the things that were meant to honor Baal, Asherah, and the stars of heaven. Huh? Check here. Baal, Asherah, Asherah and, the and the stars. stars. Uh, Wait a minute. We have Baal, the sun, God, the father. We have the stars. Mm. The stars, which is number three. What is missing? The moon. That's why it's called the wife of God, the moon. Don't you see Deuteronomy chapter 4? Yes. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Yes. Here you are. Repeat the reading. Then the king commanded him here the high priest, the other priests, and the gatekeepers to bring out of the Lord's temple all the dishes and the... They put them in the Lord's temple. These things today are in the churches. And Yeshua, when he came, he put those things also out of the church. We also, we are doing the same thing. Outside the church. Every false doctrine, every bad behavior, every sexual immorality, every dressing which is abnormal, Outside the church, every false doctrine, every wrong practices outside the church, we need to purify the church. Amen. In that way, we are not going to serve Satan in any way. And for you to do that, you need overseers. Men who must be able to say, hey, didn't you plant the brothers and sisters here? He said, yes, but how come they are not involved in immorality? The answer is what? The enemy. The enemy. The enemy has come in the church and he has done it. Say amen. 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 Continue. There are all the dishes and the things that were made to honor Baal, Baal Asherah, Asherah and the stars of heaven. And the stars. Continue. Then Josh, uh, Josiah burned those things outside. This the is what we have to do. Burn them. Amen. Someone takes First King chapter 16, verse 32 to 33. Asherah, the wife of God. But people want, brother, it's only because I did not have, I could have shown you here in the Bible. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In a, in a, where is, a, let me, let me, let me kindly see here. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I did not say anything. I... <laughs> Something is happening there. <laughs> so here is 
Brother, I wanted to show you this one. Allow me to show you this one because we have come. Uh, the bundle is finished. No, this one is not working. Is it working? Okay. Is this uh, things work? I wanted to show you. Oh, it's open. It's open. No, it's, work. it's working. Zeus. You can see here. This is the representative of uh, which I wanted the sister to print for us. Check. This is Baal. It's it's a picture of what? A man. Let me put uh, uh, put more light. Is a picture of what? A man. A man. All right. Yes. You'll be surprised. Let me take the second one. Era. Look now. Is a picture of what? A woman. A woman. Let me take the next one. Poseidon. Poseidon. Look here very well and carefully. What do you see? And what? Fish around her. This is the God of the sea. The God of this. And if you read in the Bible, you'll find there was a spirit sitting on many waters. Right? Okay. Okay, that one we'll see there. No, this one is a man. I will, I will explain that one there. Let me take Demeter. This is uh, now agriculture. We are Afanya Kanzia Ukulima. There you are. A woman. You know why? Because the earth produces. Huh? The way a woman also produces. You plant the seed, you harvest the child. So she now represents every work that belongs to Shamba. And remember, a woman is a Shamba also. It's not by mistake. Let me show you the other one. Give me your Artemis. Voila, Artemis is here. The wife of... Uh, there you are. Wait a minute. What was the husband of uh, Artemis? Who was the husband of Artemis? Kush. Kush, right? Yeah. So now, her son was who? Nimrod. Nimrod, Nimrod was who? A mighty? Anta. Look at the mother. Yeah. What is she carrying there with her? A bull. A bull. Bull. For what? Hunting. Now, if you look in the New Testament, you find now what we call uh, this God we have nowadays is conquering and going to conquer. What are they looking for? The latest. This brings you what? Nicolaitanism. Conquering the? This is the doctrine. It's not finished. Check. I'm going to take another one. Uh... Janus, the God, the God of which gave January. Yeah? Janus. God of the beginnings. You see, you, in our calendar we have January. That J-A-N. In uh, their language, it's Jan. 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 So, Janus. Or Janus. Gave you this God of January is the God of the beginnings. That's why when we begin the year, people are saying, Ah, new year, we are celebrating there, you are celebrating January, the first of January. This is your guy. <laughs> this is the guy you are having. It's got the two faces. So when the one is looking at the, the year that is ending, but he's also looking at the new that the year that begins. <laughs> he's looking to say bye to the year that is finishing Kesha. and he's also <laughs> yes <laughs> Iris look at this god this is the goddess of the rainbow a woman do you see this I'm going to take now uh, this one called uh, uh, what's her name again uh, 
fish God. It's called Dagon. There you are. This picture, does it tell you something? Half men, half fish. You call them in Kenya what? Mermaid. The mermaid. Look now here. This one will surprise you. Look at this picture. This is the priest of the fish god. Look at the, 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 the things on his head. Do you see what happens? Who dressed this way nowadays? Poop. The Pope. With the fish mitre that is opening the mouth on top there. And the things that fall there. They inherited it from this Dagon. Let's read Dagon in the Bible. And I'm going to close the... Oh, it's past already. We'll start next time. Yahweh, shall I bless you? Amen. Amen.